In today's Worship and Word Wednesday, we're going to dive into the wisdom of James chapter 3, focusing on the profound impact of controlling our tongue and the power of our words. As a woman, you're journeying towards sustainable weight loss and optimal health. Understanding the significance of speaking God's truth over yourself is pivotal. So we're going to explore how the teachings of James chapter 3, controlling the tongue, not only will guide us into taming our tongues, but also illuminate the path to harnessing your words as a force for positive transformation in your weight loss and overall well-being. Does that sound good? All right, good. So you're going to stay with me then. And let me just side note for you. If you have been wanting to break free from sugar and you're like, I've tried and nothing has worked and you want to get this going because you know that if you were to break the sugar addiction, you know, you'd start to lose weight and start to gain your health back. So if this is something you've been wanting to do and haven't found anything that's worked, or maybe you haven't even been searching, you just started now and praise the Lord, you're hearing this. But I invite you to join my seven day break free from sugar through the power of the Holy Spirit course. It is officially available to you. All you need to do to register to join me is click the link in the show notes. So maybe you're listening to this on a platform that doesn't really have show notes with a link. Then all you need to do is go to andrealyn.com backslash sugar andrealyn.com backslash sugar and it will take you to the registration page you can get started there hey woman of god are you sick of fad diets that only get you temporary results are you looking for a simple foundational faith-based weight loss framework that will fit into your busy day so it becomes a lifestyle are you ready to break free from binge eating overeating sugar addiction self-sabotage and the battle with your scale it is time to let the chain breaker jesus move mightily into your weight loss journey i'm andrea lynn I am so excited that you're here with me on Christian Women's Weight Loss. I remember what it felt like to be 75 pounds overweight, exhausted, overwhelmed, riddled with poor self-esteem, low self-image, and unworthiness until I was radically saved by Jesus and he made everything new. With 20 years of experience and numerous certifications in fitness and nutrition, I'm here to teach you everything I know about food and fitness while making faith your primary drive as a busy Christian woman wanting to lose weight and keep it off. If you're ready to let the Holy Spirit transform you from the inside out while getting your body, which is God's vessel, healthy so you can rise up and live out the calling that God has on your life, you're in the right place. May the Lord give you ears to hear, eyes to see, a heart that's pleasing to Him, along with a body that will be transformed for His glory. Let's dive in. Okay, let's dive in. And if you've been with me on Worship and Word Wednesdays, you know that there's a word from scripture and it ties into your weight loss, into your health, and then we worship the Lord together. So before I start giving you James chapter three, which I said we were going to, we were going to go into today, I want, I want you to understand how this actually was birthed. (laughs) So this week I was thinking, all right, well, you know, what is it that you ladies need? I pray about it. I, I just really sit with it. I think about it. And I was feeling like, okay, they need, you know, like putting on the armor of God. We're in some spiritual warfare, especially when we're trying to lose weight. And yesterday I was spent a lot of time in prayer and I heard the Lord say to me, I want to share something with your podcast women. I'm like, oh, is that you, Lord? Or is that me? (laughs) It was one of those moments like, wait, what was that thought me or him? And so I grabbed my notebook and I just started to close my eyes and pray again and and said, Lord, if that's you, then what is the word you want to share with the women that listen to the podcast? And this is what he said. You ready? So this is how today's 
uh, Worship and Word Wednesday was birthed. So this was written yesterday, which was June 3rd for me, 2024. And it says this, the power of death and life is in the tongue. Loose the tongue from the grips of Satan and speak the word, my word of life into your body. Speak life today and be set free from your sickness struggles. Stand strong on my word and you will be free in Jesus name. I was like, well, that's probably all I need to really say. (laughs) And what's amazing is that he brought me today to James chapter three, controlling the tongue so that we can really sit with this a little bit more, tease this out. But I, I feel like the word alone from God that he gave me to share today with you is so powerful. And this was probably a couple months ago. I just was like praying like, Lord, there's all these people that I know. They're such amazing, beautiful Christians. But boy, their tongue says things that I'm surprised with. And again, I was in prayer and he said to me that Satan still owns their tongue. I was like, whoa, how could that be? And so as we go into today, just start to ask, you know, have I really surrendered my tongue and what I'm speaking of over myself, over my life, over this weight loss journey? Have I been letting God speak it? Or have I been giving my tongue to Satan? Just some food for thought there. And I will be giving you some more questions to start to ask yourself, start to pray about. But first, let's let's look at James chapter 3. We're going to look at verses 2 through oh, 12. Okay, so I'm going to start, I'm going to read it to you first. It says this, Indeed, we all make many mistakes. For if we could control our tongues, we would be perfect and could also control ourselves in every way. We can make a large horse Go wherever we want by means of a small bit in its mouth. And a small rudder makes a huge ship turn wherever the pilot chooses to go, even though the winds are strong. In the same way, the tongue is a small thing that makes grand speeches. But a tiny spark can set a great forest on fire. And among all the parts of the body, the tongue is a flame of fire. It is a whole world of wickedness corrupting your entire body. It can set your whole life on fire, for it is set on fire by hell itself. People can tame all kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and fish, but no one can tame the tongue. It is restless and evil, full of deadly poison. Sometimes it praises our Lord and Father, And sometimes it curses those who have been made in the image of God. And so blessing and cursing come pouring out of the same mouth. Surely, my brothers and sisters, this is not right. Does a spring of water bubble out with both fresh water and bitter water? Does a fig tree produce olives or a grapevine produce figs? No. You can't draw fresh water from a salty spring. So just by hearing the word of God right now, I don't know about you, but when I read that, I thought, wow, there's so much here. Did things stand out to you? Such as where it says in verse three, we can make a large horse go wherever we want by means of a small bit in its mouth. And it's like, if we can control this humongous animal by this tiny bit in its mouth, We can control this humongous obstacle of trying to lose weight with the power of our tongue. I mean, that to me is just like, wow, what a revelation, Lord. And I'm just so grateful for that. So I'm praying that as I read that to you, you are also, you know, beginning to get revelation from the Holy Spirit too. But we have to also remember that what we say and what we don't say are both important. So 
maybe you're saying this is so challenging. I'm never going to lose this weight. You look in the mirror and the things that you say about your body and about yourself are not so good. What you're saying is going against the word of God because God says so many other things about you. Maybe you are not saying the word of God over yourself when those negative thoughts come and your tongue starts to say them, you know, because once they hit the head, a lot of times they'll come out of the mouth. They might not come out in the way your head is saying it, but eventually those thoughts are going to come out with your tongue, right? So it's important to control your speech. And we must not only say the right words at the right time, but also rein in our desire to say what we shouldn't. Examples of sin of an untamed tongue. Let me just give you some examples. Some of these you'll probably know. Gossiping, insulting, belittling, bragging, manipulating, teaching what is false, exaggerating, complaining, flattering, and lying. Pause for a second. Have you done any of those to yourself lately? Very possible you have. So pause before you speak and ask yourself these questions. There's three. Is what I want to say true? Is it necessary to say? And the third one is, is it kind? James compares careless and hurtful words to a raging fire. An uncontrolled tongue can do terrible damage. Satan uses words and speech to divide people, but he also uses these words and speech to divide you, a child of God, a woman of God, between you and God. So don't let him use your words of what you're speaking over your life, about your weight loss, about your body, about your health. Don't let Satan use those words and use your speech. Remember before you speak that words are like fire and you can neither control nor reverse the damage of fire. And I, I love this too, because right in Revelation, Jesus is, there's this picture of this fire in his eyes and the sword of truth coming out of his mouth. And there's also um, when the, when Pentecost came, right, it's like the fiery tongues people were praying in tongues and and it's like the holy spirit is also represented by fire so you want to make sure that you're using the fire the fiery words of god over your life over your weight loss versus you're using your tongue to curse and the fire is just burning away every blessing that is available to you and then in verse um verse 8 it says, if no human being can tame the tongue, like, then why bother trying, right? Right? If he's saying no human being can tame the tongue. So why bother trying is one of my thoughts. But even though we may not achieve perfect control, what we say is that the Holy Spirit will help us deal with our emotions and exercise the fruit of self-control. Because one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit is self-control. So if he can control even your desires for food, what you put in your mouth, and I've heard this testi testified by many women I've worked with, that they stepped into the 12-week program and as they did, they were literally walking past ice cream, cookies, parties that they used to just go and have, you know, have these things and it would set them off course. But now that they've just leaned into the Holy Spirit, that the self-control of just being in a room with these things and not even caring was so mind-blowing to them. So if the Holy Spirit can exercise self-control over food that people are putting in their mouth, he can also exercise self-control over your tongue. You cannot, you cannot do this alone. You can't fight the tongue's fire in your own strength, okay? Okay. The Holy Spirit, though, will give you increasing power to monitor and filter what you're saying about yourself, about other people. 
He will remind you of God's love and he won't react in this like hateful manner, right? He's, he always is there convicting you in a loving way. So let's say there's this habit you've been saying like, um, this is never going to work for me. Ugh, right? I'm never going to lose this weight. The tongue is speaking that curse. So submit your tongue to God and say, Holy Spirit, I haven't been able to exercise self-control here. So I need you to hold back my tongue so that I stop cursing this blessing that is available to me from God. Because when we criticize the Holy Spirit, well, let me just backtrack. You don't ever criticize with the power of God criticizing, okay? That is all satanic stuff. That's all evil The Holy Spirit only convicts and it is always loving and gentle and kind. Like, hey, 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 you sure you want to say that? And you'll probably find that sometimes your words are good and pleasing to God, but at other times they're hurtful and they're destructive to you. So which of these speech patterns reflects your true identity? The hurtful ones, the destructive ones? or the good and pleasing ones. Okay, well, let me remind you that you are made in God's image. But the tongue is a constant reminder of your sinful nature. And God is working to change us from the inside out. That is exactly how weight loss happens. It has to be an inside job. And when the Holy Spirit works in your heart, he gives you self control so that you can start speaking words that are pleasing to God. So if you find yourself in this place, this is something you've been grappling with. You've been beating yourself up. You haven't been speaking always pleasing blessings over yourself, over this journey. Then ask God to stop the bitter water from coming out of you and replace it with the refreshing water of the Holy Spirit replace it not of the fire of the enemy that's trying to destroy but of the fire of the holy spirit that is trying to transform you so are you ready for a breakthrough yes you are (laughs) so let's step into seeking god seeking heaven seeking the lord's face seeking his presence seeking a relationship with him right now Let's step into this with boldness, starting to exalt him, to adore him, to magnify him right now. Heavenly Father, we exalt you. Above every name, Jesus, you are so high and lifted up. Jesus, you are exalted. Lord, we lift you up on high. Oh God, above all of our problems, all of our concerns, all of our worries, you are high and lifted up. Lord, you are high and lifted up of all of the worries and concerns that we might not even be able to change this this tongue that's been bound by sin. Lord, we lift you up on high because we know that you are so mighty and so uh, holy and so just so amazing, Lord, that you can do it, that you can do it for us. You've already done it for us. So we lift you up, Lord. We magnify you, God. You are most holy. You are our holy majesty. You and you alone, Lord, are worthy of our affection. You and you alone, Lord, are worthy of all of the pleasing words we have. You and you alone, Lord, are worthy of every part of us. You and you alone, Lord, are worthy of it all. You and you alone, Lord, are worthy of my attention, of our attention. God, we lift you up. We highly exalt you. We highly exalt you over this challenge that we've been having about speaking these curses over ourselves, Lord. We highly exalt you over our life. We highly exalt you over our weight loss journey. We highly exalt you over our exercise. We highly exalt you over our food. We highly exalt you over the way we think. We highly exalt you over our job. We highly exalt you over our home. We highly exalt you over our children, over our family. We highly exalt you 
over every area of our life. We highly exalt you in our town. We highly exalt you in our state. We highly exalt you in our country. We highly exalt you, Lord. Oh God, we adore you. We worship you, God. You are so high and mighty. You have all of our attention right now, God. You have all of us, God. We give you all of our attention. All of our focus is on you, Jesus. Our eyes are fixed on you, Lord. We lift you up. We lift you up. We glorify you. We magnify you. We bless you. There is none like you, God. You are the lily of the valley. We worship you, God. You are the prince of peace. So let's keep pressing in. Let's move into a place of thanksgiving, of gratitude, because the gratitude unlocks the door to the glory and unlocks the door to his presence. And that is what we are seeking. So Lord, we thank you. We are so thankful for you. We are so thankful that you renew our mind. We are so thankful that you are renewing our hearts. We are so thankful that you saved us. We're so thankful for your love. We're so thankful for your compassion. We are so thankful for your grace. We are so thankful for your mercy. We are so thankful that as we died to you, Lord, that you have made us new. We are so thankful that you died for us. We are so thankful that what you did on the cross, Lord. We are so thankful that you took on all of our sins, Lord. We are so thankful to you, Jesus. I'm thanking you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, for breath in our lungs. We thank you, Jesus, for keeping us another minute, another day, another month, another year. We are so thankful to you, Jesus. We're thankful for you. We're thankful for the trials and tribulations in our life, Lord, because they are making us closer to you. Lord, we are so thankful for these troubles because they are making our relationship stronger with you. Lord, we thank you for your Holy Spirit that you poured out for us. We thank you for our Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for sending your only Son, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are so thankful, Heavenly Father. We are so thankful, Jesus. We are so thankful, Holy Spirit. We thank you for teaching us. We thank you for the pain and the tribulations and the storms that we are in and that we have gone through because they have shown us that you are so loving and so compassionate. They've shown us how much you love us. They've shown us how much more we need to turn to you and be in stronger relationship with you how much we really need to surrender more to you we are so thankful for you jesus we're so thankful holy spirit we are so thankful heavenly father we're thankful we're so thankful for everything we're thankful for all of the hard times in our childhood the rejection the pain the bitterness the shame we're so thankful for those because they drove us straight into your arms. We are so thankful. Thank you. Thank you for our past. Thank you for our past, our trials and tribulations. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Father. And just continue to thank him for a moment. And let's just start speaking life right now. Let's start speaking life over you. Asking God to stop the bitterness that's been coming from your tongue about you, about your weight loss, about your life, and start to speak his resurrection power over your life right now. So Lord, we're so sorry. We're so sorry that we've spoken bitter, bitter things about ourselves. We're so sorry that we've been bitter about this weight loss journey and about our bodies. So sorry, Lord, please forgive us. And Lord, right now today, we replace those, that bitter water, that bitter fire, the bitter evil fire that's been coming from our tongue. And we replace it today with the refreshing water, the living water of the Holy Spirit. We speak the living water of God upon our life right now. And today we speak more blessings out of our mouth. And Lord, 
we speak a change of heart that you are changed changing our stony stubborn heart to a heart of flesh out of the heart the mouth will speak it so today lord you are changing our heart which completely changes our tongue today we speak words of truth over ourselves truth that comes from your word god the truth that life brings the truth that brings me life the truth that brings resurrection life I speak today that as a woman of God, that we have the Holy Spirit in us. And that means we have the fruit of the spirit of self-control. And Lord, I speak that fruit of self-control grow within us today. And that fruit of self-control that grows completely controls our tongue from this day forward. And as our tongue is controlled by self-control, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, that our tongue is then blessed with words of truth to speak in our life, to speak into other people. Lord, I pray that the fiery tongues of the Holy Spirit take hold of our tongue and that springs of living water comes up and out of us right now and we're speaking this living water over our body over our health situations our tongue is fanned and flamed by the power of God right now Lord I release my tongue to you say that right now Lord I release my tongue to you what I speak is truth what I say is necessary and what I speak is kind Holy Spirit give us increasing power to monitor and filter what comes off of our tongue and out of our mouth Holy Spirit heal the hurt that our tongue has lashed out against us heal this hurt inside of us today make our hearts and our words pleasing to you in jesus name we speak this now and i just want you to start praising the lord praise you jesus praise you jesus yes lord and if i wasn't behind this microphone i'd be jumping around praise you lord i want you to dance i want you to clap your hands i want you to lift those arms and sing praise you jesus we praise you jesus we praise you lord thank you jesus clap your hands spin around dance dance your heart out and i don't care if you say i can't dance that's change the tongue you can dance for the lord you can praise him however you want because he cares about what's in your heart not about the way your body's moving so praise him right now praise him if you want to grab your guitar grab your tambourine and just start praising the lord praising him that he's already done a thing he's already changed your heart he's already changed your tongue and that as of today you are going to speak new life new resurrection power over your weight loss journey over your body so that your body completely heals that you are transformed from the inside out and this transformation is pleasing to god it glorifies him so give him all the praise and like i always say when this is over if you want to just take you know four minutes put on your favorite worship song and dance around and praise him because praise is proof that it's already happened so lord we thank you lord we thank you for what you've done today for us thank you for touching us and healing us with your word thank you for touching us and healing us with your power lord thank you for surrendering having us surrender fully to you we we just ask that you continue to change our hearts and we dedicate and consecrate our tongue to you, Lord Jesus, as of today. Lord, we ask you to, sur to take over as we surrender fully to you. We surrender our words, we surrender our thoughts, we surrender our heart. We surrender it all to you. So from this day forward, Lord, you help us by the fruit of the spirit of self-control that we speak life into our journey we speak life into our body we speak life into all areas of our life and through this change of tongue and heart lord that we see the transform made transform transformative power of you arise in our life 
a rise in our weight loss. I speak, I speak complete freedom of this weight over you, woman of God. I speak complete freedom over you from your mind and every, anything that has ever been thought of about badly about yourself, Lord. Lord, I just ask you to help this woman. Help this woman remember who she is when she reads the word of God so that her mind is rooted in truth from this day forward and that she speaks that truth. She carries the living water and it comes out of her mouth, not only for others, but for herself. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Before you go, if you have been transformed or blessed by this, please subscribe, then go to Apple Podcasts and leave me a written review. It is the number one way that you can bless me and get the word out there to other women who are also seeking. Screenshot your favorite episode, share on your social media feeds, be sure to tag me, and I'd love to connect more often, so join my Facebook group. Until next time, remember God says in 1 Corinthians 10.31, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. God bless you, my sister in Christ.